Hey guys, what is up? Stickboy here, back again for another reaction, and we are finally going to finish out Ruby Volume 5. We've got episodes 13 and 14 uh, tonight, which are entitled Downfall and Haven's Fate. So, it looks like we will be resolving the Battle of Haven one way or another. So far, it really hasn't been going well for the good guys. Um, Weiss is still down, but fortunately, John has unlocked his semblance, which appears to be some sort of a healing ability, which, now that I think about it, it really makes sense, because I think every group, you know, needs their healer, so I guess that is going to be Jean's job, which is good that he unlocked that now. Um, Ruby still has not figured out how to harness her power, although we did see it kind of come out uh, during the battle, but Emerald uh, knocked her out of it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, kind of knocked her out of it before it could take its effect on Cinder. Um, and then, of course, we've got the big plot twist uh, down in the vault where, uh, surprise, Raven is the Spring Maiden, not Vernal. So, um, not sure what is going to become of Vernal at this point. Uh, she looked like she took a pretty nasty hit. And is, um, you know, Cinder coming out of there with that that arm, you know, is she like part grim or something? I don't know what's going on there. That was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let's see how this ends. I think um, we're going to see the White Fang show up here pretty soon. We did see uh, Adam and his faction setting charges all over Haven uh, before the big fight started. And we also know that Blake and company are going to be showing up in a ship with pretty much all of Menagerie behind them. Um, the only problem is I seem to notice a discrepancy on the timetable because it seemed like Blake's family were under the impression that they had two weeks, whereas um, like Adam is attacking like right now. Like he, when he planned the attack, he said like two days or something, and it was, it was really quick. So there's a discrepancy there, and I, I wonder if... What we saw in Menagerie was uh, a time jump to the past a little bit, or if um, if they're off. So, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Let's uh, quit talking about it and get into this. Here we go. Let's pull this up. And we're ready to go in three, two, one, play. the fairy tale back to the show back to the wall and there's nowhere to go so uh this episode is called downfall which uh was the name of a song by a trust company back in the day Duke. Oh yeah, Oscar was uh, fighting against Hazel, and Ozpin had to take over because Oscar didn't want to give up control, even though he was completely and totally out of his league. He definitely picked the wrong time to stand up for himself. I guess we're going to find out what Raven's motives are. She's a maiden, and she's the one that can get into the vault, so... If she can take down Cinder... She's, I guess, entitled. Uh-oh. What are you gonna do now? She can fight hand-to-hand -hand now, can't she? Whatever it takes to shut you up. You guys yeah. doing okay? I I think so. She's um. coming too. I just wish this would go faster. Hey, well, I mean, I it's a pretty bad injury. Train and just be thankful you unlocked your semblance when you did. My semblance? How else do you think you're healing her, dummy? <laughs> I don't think I'm healing her. Our 
aura heals her bodies. It feels... It feels more like I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Yeah? Wait. Aren't you worried about running out? Pira once told me I've got a lot of it. I still believe her. Okay. Jean? Stay with me while the others fight. That's annoying. Yeah. Good to have you back, Weiss. <laughs> Hiding behind the face of a child? A monster like you must be stopped! You know, it would be a lot better sneak attack if you wouldn't announce your presence. Oh, he can charge her up. His semblance. He can block out pain. It's how he's able to handle injecting so much dust into his body. Hmm, interesting. I don't need him to hurt. I need him to die. Yeah. Nice. He's probably going to get back up from that. None of your concern. Okay, we're doing uh we're doing fire now. Our friends are almost done here. Okay. Adam! Oh, look who it is. Who is that? Stand down! Wait! <laughs> it's gonna take an army to beat him. through so much trouble to find you, only to have you deliver yourself to me. This isn't what's right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing and we can end this peacefully. Oh, you're gonna have to do it by force. You're wrong, Blake. He's, uh... And you can't stop us. He is completely no, beyond repair. I can't. Not by myself. That's why she didn't come alone. How trained are these guys, though? Who's there? Your brothers and sisters. Mata? Please. Oh man, they're gonna have to fight their own family. Make no mistake, brothers. These are our enemies, and we will not let them ruin. Anybody knows that Emerald can make illusions because what's happening? I'm not sure. If anyone actually did, you could take her on two better. on one. Much better. You could take her on two yeah. on one, and like whoever didn't get the illusion could take her out while she was using her siblings. Adam. It's over. And it's over for all of us. Hey, wait! Huh? What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? Uh, I am making humanity pay <laughs> for what they've done! We sent someone over to confirm your explosives. And once we did, she disarmed them. Oh, nice. Oh, and look who it is. 
What do we do? This is your business, not mine. Fix it. Yeah. I told you. You made I... an enemy in him. It's over. He's gonna not go down without a fight. Is she gonna take the kill shot on him? She should. No. Kill them! I didn't think she would do that. She should have. Oh well. Why is just sneaking up on him? That's not going to be enough to take him out, though. Or is it? I'll just shut up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know anything at this point. Yang. Hey. Teams back together. No! Oh. Okay. Renal was a decoy the whole got... time. Yeah, she was. The last spring maiden must have trusted you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a mistake. Oh. Alright, let's see how good you are, Raven. Because the last maiden that Cinder fought didn't win. Really didn't even stand much of a chance. your arm. It's grim. It is grim. You turned yourself into a monster just for power. Look who's talking. Stay here. <laughs> My sword is bigger than yours. <laughs> I'm gonna kill both of you. Which right now I think might not be the bad might not be such a bad thing. Raven, I thought you could harm that grim arm. Well then. Used her own power against her, but is she dead? Yeah. Cinder is... Anyone else would have their human body destroyed, but not Cinder. She's like she's like Azula from um, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Hey. 
cut enough yet. No. Shut up! If you were stronger or more clever, then maybe you'd remember to watch your back. Oh! Is she really gone? Finish her. Finish her off. I don't know if I like Raven or not, but I know I sure as hell don't like Cinder. If I ever see her again, I will not complain. Man, that sucks for Vernal. Like, it really does. Like, I, I hate that. She did nothing wrong. And Raven here just used her as a pawn, as a decoy, and sacrificed her life. What are you going to do with that relic? I don't know what Raven's motives are, but part of me thinks that the relic is safer in her hands than it is in Salem's. So, I'll, I guess I'll take this. If, then again, they need her to open the, bo the door. Hang on, they need her to open the door. All she has to do is disappear again, and then they don't. Nobody has to open the door. There wouldn't be anyone to open the door. I guess you're going to do it without your arm. Okay, so Yang is about to be uh, on to Raven. Yang has no chance against Raven. I guess we'll see. Oh man, sorry guys, I don't think this commentary was anywhere near as good as my last one. There was just a lot of stuff that, there was a lot of stuff that kind of caught me off guard. I mean, I was expecting it, but it didn't happen quite the way I was expecting it to happen, but not the way that I thought it would, and so it was just like, it's like, oh, I should be saying something, but I don't really know um, what I should say. So it kind of looks like, I think what I was talking about at the beginning with um, Blake and her family. I think what we saw was a little bit of a time jump to the past whenever we were dealing with Menagerie. Um, maybe what we were seeing there when it would show them was a, a couple of weeks behind what we were seeing with, uh, you know, with Crow and, and Ruby and all of them, as well as with, uh, you know, as with Raven and, and all that. So. Um, the timeline basically caught up, is, is I think what happened. And in that amount of time, they had time to gather intelligence and figure out what was going to happen and kind of be ahead of the plan before the white thing carried it out. So that just happened so fast that I didn't really have time to process it. But it looks like that's what happened. So uh, looks like Cinder is gone, and like I said, I don't care. Like, I'm glad for that. I know there's people in the fandom who really like Cinder, and that's fine. I, I, I'm nothing against you, but I personally couldn't stand her. She was arrogant and full of herself, and she screwed with people's heads, and was completely she she had no uh, 
she had no regard for any other life at all. So um, I'm not sure that Raven does either, but at least one of them's gone. And I think I think we lost. I think we took out the greater of the two evils. I'm not sure Raven could be worse, but from what I've seen, um, I think Cinder is the one that I would have wanted gone if I had to pick one. So. Um, Raven is the Spring Maiden. Um, she has, as far as I can tell, defeated Cinder. She has the relic right in front of her, but it's in kind of a tricky looking room. And uh, Yang has caught up with her, so we're going to see what comes of that. Um, right now, um, Salem's forces kind of seem to be all over the place. Because. Uh, Mercury and Emerald are still capable. They're still, you know, fighting capable, but um, Hazel seems like he's in rough shape. Weiss uh, has used her summoning to, to uh, looks like, injure him. I don't know, though. I don't know how tough he is. Um, but anyways, I'm just saying the obvious. Let's go ahead and get into this and see what happens. So let's get pulled up here, and here we go. Let's see how Volume 5 ends in a 3, 2, 1, play. Keep watching after the credits for a look at new show. Not too interested in that, but... Back to the fairy tale, back to the show. Back to the wall, and there's nowhere to go. Well... It's not quite as desperate as it was looking. Thanks to Blake and her family and Ilya, who had to do that one last time. Um, definitely seems like Mistral has the upper hand now. Hazel doesn't seem very happy with Adam at all. Like, when, when Adam kind of double-crossed him, he was just like, oh, sorry, you made this mess. I, I want no part of it. I like how Yang, um, I like how Yang, um, was restrained herself from using her semblance to get away from Mercury. I wonder if she'll find her arm. Alright, so we're out here, let's see. I think they're outnumbered. These guys may not be trained fighters, but I think these guys are just outnumbered. And she's a trained fighter. Thank you. I'm okay with her. I I, I didn't want to trust to her, but regret ever coming back. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. Still yeah. too afraid to face me Blake, on your own. She doesn't have to fight him. I'm here for Haven, not you. Huh? Yeah, she doesn't need to fight him. <laughs> you are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh yeah? Have you? Where? Tell me, does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. for someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. No, there doesn't. Blake doesn't have to fight Adam. You can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with.
Now, now who's afraid to fight? Wait, but he's getting away. We could take him. No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. Mm -hmm. We need to protect the school and the people here. Yeah. Besides, let him go. He's he's on his own. Now he can see what it feels like to run away. Exactly. Thank you. Eh, we all need help sometimes. Good job, Blake. I think there's a few people who could use yours. Yeah. Be careful. Why don't you, son? Why don't you come too? No promises. I mean, I guess he's got the fauna, so he's got to. He's got his own gig. You guys okay? <gasps> Survive. Ren doesn't look. I don't know how that big guy's still standing. I know, right? He charges his aura faster than I've ever seen. Uh, he's sheer willpower. We just need to get him to his limit. Well, take that guy out. That Lionheart is ridiculous. Are you hurt? N no. I just remember you being more of the quiet one. <laughs> Not today. All right. Well, what's the plan, Ruby? Well, we still don't have the group reunited because Yang is gone. Take him out. You've got to be. I'll just let him run away. Okay. Whatever. I guess he can't do any more damage than he's already done. I warned you, Yang. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You opened the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. I'm sure they told you plenty, and you just sat and obeyed. No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. So tell me. Mm -hmm. What happened the last spring maiden? Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did... It wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Or are you a survivor? Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I, I don't know you. Don't think it matters. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Yeah, but we don't know what she believes her in. Too? I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. She does. She uses others. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. I don't see her shaking. I'm scared. But I'm still standing here. I'm not like you. I won't run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why? I don't think she'll I? do that. You're afraid of Salem! And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back... Imagine what she'll do when she when finds she out finds you have a relic. Ooh, clever. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after me. Yeah. And I'll be standing there, 
Who would you rather? Nice. You don't want to do this. Yang didn't have to fight her. She just got into her head. Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I would have Raven come in there with me if I were Yang. I'm sorry. Because Raven could yeah. close that door. Me too. Or is it just open now? Be scared to go in there. But I guess at this point, I guess at this point. like something you could just conceal. Can you just walk up and, I guess you just walk up and take it? It's finally sinking in, isn't it? Took a lot out of herself to do that. Somebody needs to take him out. And where might you be going? Oh, it's a good question. I was just looking for something. Oh, Leonardo, it's her. Do you have something you wish to tell me? It was Cinder. She altered the plan. Huntsman showed up here. Pro! Several students. One with the silver eyes. My fang attack was stopped. I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. Uh, yeah, about that. Yes, I can still be of assistance. If I leave now, I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I'll do whatever it takes. Grace. Take him out. Take him out. Please, ma'am. I'll do anything. I can't. It'll be useful. Please. Please. I don't even feel bad for him. Don't even feel bad for him. I don't even care. Coward. <laughs> right? That's enough! Just give up. It's not over. Cinder will come back. She'll have the relic. And she'll well, have all of you. Actually. She won't let us down. Take my arm back now.
that an illusion or? Yeah. What was that? An illusion. But an accurate one. That was Salem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Adam's kind of on his own now. The police rounded up the remaining White Fang members. Haven is safe. Unfortunately, it appears that Adam escaped. It's okay. Yeah, he's... He was the only one to escape tonight. Those in the White Fang that followed him won't support a leader that abandons his people. He won't have their help after this. Yeah, he has no support now. He'll have no one at all. And the White Fang will be left divided. And he'll be on the run. We've been fighting amongst if ourselves. If anyone ever finds him, he'll be in custody. Perhaps it's time for a new brotherhood. A new family for Fauna's truly working towards a better world. And they'll need a new leader. <sighs> you want to take huh? over again? <laughs> Yeah, you've got someone you need to talk to. Come on, you two, you can do it. Yeah, what that's... happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Draven? Is the spring maiden? He gone. doesn't know. Well, we're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Are you okay? <sighs> I feel like I should be asking you guys. So, Blake, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I came to help. I was gonna ask you three the same thing. Yeah? That's a long story. It is. Well,. I think Blake's is a I'm long story too. Anywhere. That's all that matters. That we're all here together. Right? You lost you found your heart to pin down. Yeah. Yep. You never know if you come through. Come on, get in here. Get in here. There you go. Either. I'm all right, kid. Oh Just yeah. Resting. Too much energy fighting. Yeah, that took a toll right. on his body, Don't didn't it? Don't strain yourself. No. He had a message. We must get the lamp to. To who? Atlas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got to take care of this thing. Oh boy, and now we've got how many minutes of credits? About six. Oh, we got a song. Look at all these, uh, look at all these names. I really hate that we lost Fernal. That that was a really a shame. Like, I I just 
that was just a such a senseless death. It was just I don't know. A really senseless death. But I, I wanted to see her be more than, than what she was, you know. And it's not her fault. It's just all she was able to be. She was put in a position that she couldn't get out of. She was right when she said that it was a burden, not an honor. I think she knew. She had to know that she was a pawn. Good job by Blake, man. That, I mean, she's come completely around. That time, that time away, she, I think she really found herself and she really got away from Adam because once she came face to face with him, she knew exactly what to do. She knew she didn't have to fight him. She knew she didn't have to listen to him, and once he didn't have any power over her, then there was really not a whole lot he could do. I really thought he would put up more of a fight because he seemed like such a powerful opponent whenever Yang fought him, and, uh, you know, even when, uh, Yang and Blake fought him together, he just seemed really strong. He, he seemed like way more than they could handle. And I don't know if maybe some of that was at the time Blake was still kind of in love with him or, or whatever, or whatever the word is, still under his influence. So that probably held her back a little bit. It seemed like once she once she freed herself from that, he really wasn't that big of a deal. It was uh, mostly talk. So Crow has to get Crow has to get that relic safely to Atlas before Salem can send another task force out. It does look like Cinder's gone. So that's big. I think that's a big... Uh, that's a big victory. Uh, with, with Cinder being gone. Yang definitely got through to, uh, to Raven. She didn't have to fight her. She got inside her head. Which was a lot more from Yang than I expected. I didn't see that. I wouldn't have seen that coming a season ago. Definitely would not have. Let's see. I guess Oscar's gonna be okay. It looked like that battle took everything out of him. Looked like Hazel was, you know, more or less wounded. They didn't defeat him, but they definitely got him, uh, they definitely got him weak. To the point where he knew his aura was about to go out. Watts is still out there. Tyrion is still out there. It'll be interesting to see what happens to Emerald now that Cinder is gone, because I think... Um, it seems like Cinder was really her uh, mentor. Because she said, you know, I don't care about Salem, but I owe Cinder everything. So, it's like Cinder was the only reason that she's on the side that she's on. And we've got a scene. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got... Yang and Ruby's dad, who for some reason I cannot remember his name off the top of my head. He's just seeing, just seeing the feather. All right, let's see what we got. Got a couple of uh, previews, I guess. I'm not sure that I. I'm really that concerned with uh, other shows right now. But we'll have a look. Running an op? You said to go to field trials. I didn't say to drop him in the middle of a city. As soon as they figure out what he is, they will come hunting for him and for you. Oh yeah, this was that. I believe you can stop worrying about Chase as much. No. Seen this? No, uh, seen previews of this before. How's he holding up? Can't remember Still what it's just, called. But full of surprises. We were very lucky to find him. Yeah, he wasn't, but... What about others? How's recruiting? Uh, problematic. 
There are some new possibilities, but we may need to uh, get more flexible on the subject. Wait, these are the only matches? They'll have to do, won't they? I don't see how we're going to turn this around. Oh, don't give up hope yet. We're just getting started. Genlock. There we go. Coming three years ago. Alright, so that was Volume 5 of Ruby, and um, I'm told that I'm told that Volume 6 gets even better, gets even crazier, so I'm definitely uh, looking forward to whatever that has in store. Uh, but that will do it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, let me know if you did. Um, I haven't said this in a while, but if you did enjoy the reaction, definitely leave a like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff because it always helps me out. And uh, yeah, sorry about uh, episode 13. It's just, I don't know, my commentary seemed like just a total clusterfuck in that episode because I, it happened so fast. It was paced so fast. It just threw so much at me at once that I just, for, for a little while there, for about half of that episode, I was kind of confused and uh, just kind of saying random crap. So <laughs> hopefully that's not too bad. But anyways, if you made it this far, you're pr you've probably forgiven me by now. So anyways, um, yeah, looking forward to Volume 6. And uh, that'll do it for this video. So until then, I am Stickboy, and I will see you guys later.